Homemade mayonnaise is rich, creamy, and preservative free, not like the stuff we find in our grocery stores. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to put together a version with really fresh, simple ingredients in like five minutes or less. This video is part of our What Every Cook Should Know series. You can find that playlist right up here, and you can find all the foundational recipes in there that I believe every cook should have under their belt. Check it out, and let's go to the kitchen and get started. To get started on our easy mayonnaise, I'm going to show you a couple of things. Before we get into the actual mayonnaise, I need to talk to you about eggs. Okay, this is a great time to talk about eggs. The thing is that happy chickens make more flavorful, healthier eggs. And I'm going to show you the difference between a conventional egg and a pastured egg. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the yolk out of this. But I totally broke the yolk on that, so we're going to start over again. It's the magic of television. I'm leaving it right there in the bowl. Sometimes my hands are unreliable. Okay, so I'm... I'm gonna crack this open. I just wanna show you the difference between conventional egg yolks and pastured ones. So this is a conventional, normal, typical yellow. Most people wouldn't think anything of that. And yes, I did separate that yolk with my hands because sometimes my hands are a little unreliable and I don't trust them. So this is a pastured egg and that is a conventional egg. So if you can see that on camera, I, don't, I hope it's translating across. This is actually orange. Let me move my blender so maybe you get the light will be a little bit better. This one is actually orange. The conventional egg is more pale yellow and the pastured egg is actually orange. I don't know if it's translating over like I'd like for it to, but it's actually much darker. And if you can get your eggs from a farmer, like really, really fresh, then you're gonna be able to get them that are just like electric orange. They're beautiful. So the darker the egg, the happier the chicken, the healthier the egg is gonna be. I will tell you right away that free range, cage free, organic tells you nothing about how that chicken was raised. So if you're buying your eggs at the store, try to get pastured if you can because those chickens have been raised in grass and eating bugs and doing all the things that chickens should do to make their eggs more flavorful and more healthy. We are using raw eggs in this recipe. So try not to be scared of that, okay? Um, it, obviously, if you have a reason that you shouldn't be eating raw eggs, um, then this is not the recipe that you would wanna use, but all mayonnaise is made with raw eggs. Even what you have in the grocery store is made with raw eggs. However, they've put in tons of preservatives and stabilizers and things that make it safe to eat. So, not so great. So I'm using a Cuisinart blender here today. This is actually a blender slash food processor. So the whole base comes off and you get to use two items in one. It's really handy. And I think Cuisinart's products are very, very powerful. So I enjoy this. And we're gonna put into the blender, take off the top for you. We're gonna put our one egg yolk. That's all we need here. And then we're gonna add a variety of acids because between the oil that we're gonna use at the egg yolk, that's a lot of fat. And the only way you can really cut that that heaviness and that richness is with quite a few different types of acids. So we're gonna add about a teaspoon and a half or so of white wine vinegar. You could use a red wine vinegar here. I wouldn't go with anything else, you know, apple cider and that kind of thing. It's gonna be really strong. So be careful with doing that. I need a half of a lemon, about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of lemon juice. Depends on, you know, how juicy your lemon is. So I'm not gonna squeeze it. These lemon juicers are super handy. Then, just a little bit of Dijon mustard. I don't know, quarter of a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, something like that. All right, it's in there. And some salt, about a half a teaspoon of salt. Now, I'm using pink Himalayan sea salt. That's what we use. We like the minerals in that. I really like Celtic sea salt if I can get it, but I can't always get my hands on it. And then we're gonna use avocado oil in this. Now, most recipes you're gonna find are gonna call for canola or vegetable oil. We don't use those anymore, and I know you're gonna find videos here on, on the website, here on YouTube, that are full of recipes that I've made and I've fried in vegetable oil or I've used vegetable oil. When you know better, you do better. And some of those videos are a couple of years old and we have entirely cut vegetable oil from our diet. If you wanna know why, I can talk to you more about that or you can go over to Feast and Farm and check out a post I wrote about the topic. We're going to blend this together first before we add our avocado oil. We're gonna kinda of get it emulsifying and then we're gonna add in. It's a little bit loud, so let's just see how we go here. All right. And I've got it up on its highest setting, so we're gonna get that started. And then in through the top, just add a little bit at a time. It's just a drizzle. It's, we're not pouring it in. It's a tiny, tiny amount. 
it's getting messy over here. Now it's going to thicken it up. Woo! Turn it down. Can you see that flying through the air? Now as it starts to thicken, you can add the oil a little bit more quickly. It's flying everywhere. Oh my gosh, okay. Put the lid on, say a prayer, and then get a towel and wipe yourself off. Give it just a second. I'm a mess. It's because this blender is a beast, that's why. Your blender won't do such madnesses. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it just a second more. So what you'll notice is that the mayonnaise becomes very pale in color and it stops looking so yellow and it kind of turns a little bit more, you know, white like you would expect it to look. And if you're using a farm egg, then this, this could be almost an orange color and that's completely okay. So down in here we've got, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, it's very, very pale. You can go a little bit longer if you want it a little bit thicker, but it's perfect. It's just so good. It's so tangy and salty. And just like all the things I love about mayonnaise, <laughs> all in one place. So now this is going to keep, you can put this in a jar, keep it in the refrigerator tightly covered for about two days is all you're going to get out of it. You do not want to hold it longer than that because of the raw egg that's in there. To see more of our What Every Cook Should Know playlist, check it out right here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.